This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learn something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. In this demonstration, we're going to look at creating and configuring virtual machines in Hyper-V in Windows Server 2012. We're going to open up Server Manager to begin and go to the Tools menu to get into Hyper-V Manager. Now, I already have a, a number of, of systems running. Um, to work with existing VMs, you've got the settings for a virtual machine, you got shut down, turn off capabilities. I'm actually just going to turn these off. Now, that's not something that we typically are going to do. It's the equivalent to powering off a computer, uh, but I just want to get rid of them so I don't have any problems starting additional ones up. Okay? So we're going to right-click the server, and we can import a VM that's been exported elsewhere, or we can just create a new virtual machine. So I'll create a new virtual machine here uh, and just walk through uh, the, the wizard. All right, so this would be my, uh, let's see, test Windows 8 machine. Uh, we can either store it in the default location, which was defined in the Hyper-V settings, or we can store it in a different location. We choose the type of, the amount of memory. Now, you've got fixed memory versus dynamic memory. The startup memory is going to be, you know, kind of the, the lowest amount. So, or I'm, excuse me, the lowest amount during startup. It's actually a fairly, you know, the system needs more memory when it's starting up. So, I'm going to start out with a gig and a half. I'm going to use dynamic memory uh, for this. Okay, so startup is a gig and a half. The network, the switch, the VM switch that we're connected to. Now, I only have one at this point, so connect it to the external network. And then how, you know, uh, a virtual hard drive. Okay, so we can create one or we can use an existing one or we can attach uh, a hard disk later. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, that one. Don't need that much, say 50 gigabytes. Hit next. And then you choose how you're going to install an operating system. Okay. So, now I'm going to say I'm going to install an operating system and I'm going to go into uh, the, uh, this location. This is where all my ISOs are. Okay. So, if I want to install 2012, in this case I want to install Windows 8, uh, the 8.1 preview, then I, okay, we're going to load that up. Hit next, hit finish, and it creates the virtual machine uh, for me. Okay. Let's go down here. Here's my test Windows 8. Now, you can go to the settings of the VM, uh, and we can add hardware here initially. So, maybe I want another network card. Uh, we can modify the, the BIOS, the boot order. Boot order, but by default, be the CD. Probably want to go in and configure the memory. <laughs> they put the maximum memory there. It's fairly high. So, minimum RAM uh, is 512. Maximum RAM, let's say, 4096. We don't need it taking up that spot that much. Uh, the processor uh, capability, so you get virtual processors, and we can specify the number of processors. So, just to clarify here, look at how many processors we've got uh, on this system. So, we've got four cores, four logical processors, so you can get that number on uh, this system. Okay? Uh, so, you can control that. We've got hard drive here, that basic hard drive, network cards should be good. Integration services are turned on. Uh, if you want to locate the snapshot files in a different location, fine. You want to configure start options, okay. All right, so we're good there. We right-click and choose to start the VM. And now I'm going to right-click and connect because it's going to open it up in a separate window. And what we're going to see is, uh, what we're going to see is that you've got, well, I'm going to apparently have to go full screen here. Uh, it's actually doing an install, okay? Uh, and so, what it's doing is it's booting to that CD or DVD, that ISO, and it will start the install. Now, we're not going to go through the entire thing here, of course, but that's where I would begin to install the operating system, and then soon I would have a fully functioning version, which is actually what I have here, you know, a, a functioning version of, of Windows 8, okay? Now, again, all of that can be done uh, through PowerShell if you would like. 
the creation of those VMs, the modification of those settings. You know, we're not going to look at all of those, but if your preference is to go PowerShell or you're running this on server core, uh, you, can, you can do that. So uh, that completes the demonstration. We looked at creating and configuring a virtual machine in Hyper-V. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.